Mag Pod episode 10. <laughs> and here we are, uh, Botsy, once again at the wonderful nest for the latest instalment of Mag Pod, your Magpie podcast, dear listener. Um, I don't think there's many others out there in Clubland doing their own podcast, no. bots, Botsy. So no. for those that maybe uh, you know get up as for the regularity of the show occasionally, go and join another club. Yeah, find another club with a podcast. Yeah, go and listen to that. Yeah, and and maybe contribute. Yep. Yeah. Hi, Tim Botler. Hey, Matthew Allen. How uh, are you? I'm very good. It's a pleasure to be here oh, with you it is. Um, it is. on the eve of finals, the final round of the season, the regular season for our senior players this weekend. Most, yeah. Apart so from Prem grade. Regu- no. Yeah. The fo- yeah, for a regular regular senior games, not a premier grade oh. games. Premier grade, they, they play the ex- the extra games, and uh, mm. it's a little bit longer. But regular season round, like for all of our teams that are languishing um, towards the bottom of the ladder at the moment, and mm. don't worry, there are plenty. This is it at is the weekend. That's it. Final games Saturday and Sunday this weekend, Done. and um, you get to go and support those more successful sides from your club. In finals, yeah, and uh, support those sides that haven't quite finished their finals yet, and of course, continue supporting our juniors. We've got another four regular rounds to go in well, their season, extends a little bit longer. Um, there you go. So, uh, what well, what do you know? Oh, not much actually. No, just you know, cruising along, keeping on, keeping on, keeping on, keeping on. You know how it is, Maddie. Um, yeah, no, nothing really too much. Have you before. you been picking a stick up yourself? Have you had a game in the past couple of weeks? Uh, I, well, we, yeah, I did. In the net? Outfield? Outfield. They've kicked me out of the net since Augie's kind of excelled. Yeah. Um, and uh, one of the games we got flogged, 11-10-4. <laughs> and another game we... Did you score any of the four? Yeah, I scored two. Very did good. score two. means nothing when you let 10 in, though, does it? Oh, Sorry, you were talking about Augie was developing? Yeah, and Augie was in net, yeah. <laughs> But to be fair, without Augie, if I was in there, it would have been 20 right. plus. Yeah. So, and then we uh, drew a game to Whitford's, mm-hmm. which we probably should have won. We were winning for most of the game and then, yeah. Decided not to. Yeah, but it's been raining, so I don't play in the rain, so. Mm. No. And we're playing in Dayton this D- week. Does so it, <laughs> does it um, what, wash out the... Um, the greys? The dye in the No, nah, my hair's falling out anyway, no, but that's no, from coaching, <laughs> so... <laughs> 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 no, it's just I'm, I'm a skinny frame, Matt. The wind blows up. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I get yeah. whisked away, mate. Yeah, yeah. So. Got to be careful you don't end up in the back of a hockey net. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> some people, some people from some clubs ring people from other clubs to um, discuss people getting blown into the back of hockey nets Do and they? requesting it doesn't happen in a in a future game. That's another story. <laughs> Speak to me at the bar about that one. Oh, really? um, uh, what's going on around the Do you know what I saw this week, John? Well, oh, John. John. Jeez. I've been called some names. <laughs> so, oh, well. That's what right. I saw this week uh, from the city of Fremantle social media, mm-hmm. uh, we did repost it. What you got to mention? Active August. No, oh. Active August, our walking hockey program. Oh. Uh, the city of Fremantle went down and did a bit of video work oh, yeah. down there. So check out at City of Fremantle on all the socials. Mm. Find the Active August posts and have a look at our wonderful walking hockey crew down there. Cool. Having will. fun, extolling all the benefits and the fun that they have. And fun is a big feature in the comments from all of the ladies that are interviewed. Now, yep. there was nothing sexist about the people chosen to um, be interviewed um, on there. It just The problem was... All of the gents that were down there playing weren't City of Fremantle residents. So a lot of City of Coburn, some from up north. There's people from all over. But the City of Fremantle people only wanted City of Freo residents on uh, on there. So, uh, But check that out. And it's a great little primer for our walking hockey program that we've been running since 2019. Oh, Mm. little wave to Tammy Stanley there as she leaves. Uh, 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 Olympic Olympic TO. Um, She was a a wrestling referee. Did you see that that great photo from the men's grand final? I think she was the first female. T.O. to do a men's Olympic grand final. Oh, awesome. Is T.O. is the right term? She I wasn't T.D. So. T- T- I think T.O. I don't know. And, I don't um, know the difference, really. Uh, yeah, super photo of their sort of arms up, 
keeping German and Dutch players apart. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the Olympics happened, didn't they? Oh, they did. Do we care? No, no we don't. No, we no, don't really we care. No, no, we won't yeah. talk. We just won't talk about it. No, multi did well. Uh, yeah, but, that's about it. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it's great to see that from the uh, the walking hockey crew mm. um, and a bit of... Uh, Bit of promotion for that down there. That's good. Um, what else? What our men's VP Bryn? Mm-hmm. He did a little interview on Sport FM uh, the other day talking about the club. Uh, yeah. That was really good. Did we? And of course, Tanya was on uh, the, the Hockey, the hockey Hour, hour yeah. on Sport FM with Jace Gabriel um, fairly recently. You can go back and listen to the podcast on that. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I think she we mentioned it last year. Well, yeah. But I think in the last. We hadn't listened to it yet. We hadn't listened to it then, did yeah, we, by the no. last show? But uh, we got a little mention. We did. Um, we with did. the Magpod. We and um, they were quite impressed at the end. There was a club that was uh, out there doing a podcast. Better than them. Oh, sorry? No, <laughs> they said we were better than them. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we did We did cop a mention from Jace Gabriel. Thanks to Jace. That was good. Nice, uh, nice, nice for the recognition with it that. It was. It was. Now, coming up, events over this weekend, um, if you get this in time, junior quiz night this Friday night, yep. senior quiz night Saturday. on Saturday night. We've got the Colour Wars on Sunday morning. So, uh, What's the Colour Wars? Well, there's not a lot of junior hockey on this weekend because it's the five year 5-6 five, turf round. So yep. uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 is a bye weekend. Yep. So we've got a, a, a fairly recent sort of last three or four years history of having a, um, age group versus age group, boys versus girls games. Oh, so yeah. at 9 a.m. on Sunday here, we've got 7-8 boys versus 7-8 girls, uh, 10 o'clock, 9-10s, um, and then mm-hmm. uh, 11 yeah. o'clock. On the turf. On yeah. the turf, yes, because yeah. no, we've got no, no, no game. fixtured games on, on here at all. Yeah, not like next Sunday. But is that like the King of the Hill that we used to do? King, Kings of the Grass. Grass, yeah, that one. Um, similar. Yeah. There's also, like, for the junior wind-up, which is on 15th of September, mm-hmm. there's generally normally some games that are played and sort of a bit of a mix-up. Yeah. But this is genuinely a boys versus girls. Um, I know my seven, eight girls, they're, they're due to wear red. So different colours are chosen and you can yep. be as wild as you want to be with it and uh, right. creative as you want to be as a team. I believe there's a prize for what, best, best dressed. dressed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Red team, are you? Um, Give him a boxing Red gear. team. Well, wow. one of the, uh, my girls <coughs> this evening, Sienna, she said, uh, so we're playing the boys. Did so? And then she <laughs> went next to her teammate and sort of elbowed them in the, in the guts and sort of gave them a bit of a shoulder. She said, so can we be like... As hard as we want in the game, I said yes, mate. <laughs> Absolutely. Why get, are you not? You said you need to get stuck into them. Yeah, get ripped into them. Come on, girls. Come yeah. On. So no, that's looking for, look, so a busy weekend. Not lots yeah. of games. We've only got uh, three. We've got three, five, six games in the morning here, mm-hmm. but in the afternoon, two Frio teams on the turf, but a massive game on the grass mm. um, for our men's sixties. Yep. That um, we've got no other Frio teams here at home. That doesn't mean that you're playing hockey at that time. So you really should be here for 2 p.m. Mm. when our 60s men take on Aquinas. And uh, we salute the magpie careers of our two biggest appearance yeah. uh, holders, Jimmy Banks and Keith Smith, with. Yeah. Well in excess of 2,000 games between them. Well, well, I know with Keith, it was probably four years ago, we got him on the front page of um, uh, Community Newspaper, Free, 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 Gazette, no, Free Gazette or whatever it was at the time. It's all changed. Oh, yeah, it's all Perth now. Now, uh, front page, no, he was in the change rooms at um, Stephen's, yeah, the brick wall behind. And he had yeah. his little stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I remember yeah. the photo. Um, so, um, you know, it, time calls on all of us with it. Um, I mean, Jim's been involved with our walking hockey since when we started in 2019. I don't know if he's played that many games in the past couple of years. It's, you know, it's more of a coaching and consultancy capacity that, that he's there. No, better than nothing. Um, but Balls has you know, g- genuinely been, um, when the body's allowed, I think he's yeah. been pretty consistent with it uh, over the fa- past few years. But um, yeah. yeah, no. And the old, bug, the old buggers are both getting on. They started in the 50s. 
right. here. And you know, they are, for us, a, a genuine link to our foundations. 100%. Um, yeah. As a club. And yeah. there are people involved when we were very, very first formed would be go on to be their coaches yeah, um, and teammates. Yeah. Well, I, I know Balls for a fact, when I first came to the club, he used to, you know, after a ones game, I'd walk up to the bar and come over and have a chat to me. Um, and, you know, pass on his knowledge and or a beer. Um, well, one of my favourite photos yeah. is, and I look out there to the honour board, not blowing any trumpets, but getting the Hudson Award in 2016 mm. was to be able to share the trophy with Balls who was there, and I've got the the photo of him and me mm. means a lot to me. Yeah, because sure. you know there's you know genuine greatness within yeah. our club. No, it is. It is. And so. then there was balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. all right. I've played that. So yeah. come on down. Come on down and celebrate for a two p.m. start here on the grass. We're going to get some twoies old in there. Would you believe I bought a six pack today, mate? Oh. And it and it and it is. And I had to put it back on the till again. Not that he should be paying for it anyway, yeah. but there is a six pack of two years old next to the Guinness and the and the creatures. And that's the, awesome. The, the Rogers. That yeah. is awesome. That's so the yes. only time I've seen it is when he's been drinking it. I didn't yeah. know it existed. And that's why it doesn't exist anymore because he's barely Stop barely drunk. drinks it anymore. <laughs> but I just thought for Saturday, somebody may like to buy mm. um, balls a, a, I a, an it. old. So they are there behind the bar. Are they but, a but, but thanks for that. Th- that's almost like it was a setup from me then. It was. No, yeah. it wasn't. I just, yeah, I remember struggling at the bar and looking, what the hell is this bike's order? Yeah. Yeah, he's the old one, not the beer. But, um, yeah, anyway. Congratulations, gentlemen. Yeah, come come on down. Yeah. What time was it again? Two, two o'clock start two o'clock. here at Lakelands. Yeah, on the grass. I've got to mow it. I'm not mow it. I've got to line mark tomorrow. Oh, you're going to put... You know, some special message. Well, I was stuff. thinking that. You know, I was, I really oh. was thinking that. Um, How artistic are you? Well, oh. I know I can do a love heart, and I know I can do FCHC because I did it on the grass out the well, back there with a bit still. of. Um, uh, would it, what, 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 what would it be? What, what would be the message that you, you'd want to see on the? Uh, what? No, no, you can't do some balls. What? Sorry. Balls. Yeah. There's some balls. Yeah. Okay. And then hockey balls, yeah. Yep, on one side, and then oh, the barman. Oh, here we go. What's that? Oh, on the till. Oh, That's all right. Just put it on top of the till. It's all right. It's fine. Don't, don't be um, well, everything. hang on. This is a great op- opportunity. Right. Do you want Graham? Come on over. We've got Graham Nichols here. He's just joined to come and give me some keys. Excuse a little bit of interference. Now we're just making mention. Graham, about our game here at 2 o'clock and your game here at 2 o'clock on Saturday afternoon against Aquinas being the final time we're going to see uh, Banksy and Balls on the field. That's correct, yep. Now, can you give us a little insight? You'd have played a lot of hockey with both of them. Give us a little bit of something about Jimmy and a bit of something about Balls. Yeah, I first saw Jimmy before I ever played hockey. Actually, I went and saw him. He was playing up at uh, uh, the Wacker on the grass grounds. I went to watch my uncle play and he was playing up there then. And Keith was playing about the same time. I remember seeing Keith playing again before I played hockey. Um, was wearing his glasses and playing out on the on left half of the one side. Um, and then later on... So you'd, have, you'd have been like three or four years old at this time? No, no, a bit older. But yeah, I didn't start playing until I was 17. So, um, And then I... I was lucky enough to play with them. Uh, when Keith came back and played twos, I played twos in for a while um, and then played all through vets with them. So I played with them for a lot of years, yeah. Now, what, what, Jimmy, what, did, what did Jimmy bring to the hockey field? Well, Jimmy, um, early on in my playing career, I learnt how to fall over and play for a free hit <laughs> in, the, in the circle. That, that was one of his major... <laughs> <laughs> okay, and did he go on to coach that? He was, yeah, he was coaching. Um, no, that specific skill. That specific skill. <laughs> he he started coaching the state. I think it's under fifteens. Um, and I he asked me to be a selector at the time, so I actually selected them for a state under fifteen side um, when I was coaching the Frio fifteens at the time. Um, and then uh, he coached off and on after that. Done a lot of uh, coaching in the masters grades, um, right through to a couple of years ago. He was coaching right through to the 
I think it was the over 70s he coached um, uh, a year before last. So, yeah, yeah. yeah so he's yeah. coached for a long time. And what about ball, balls on, on the field? Is there uh, any particular highlights? Um, no, it's just a very sturdy fullback. Um, yeah, you always trust him that if they were coming down, he'd take the ball off them and had a good hit, good pass, good eye. Yeah, so um, a very reliable player all the time. Yeah. yeah. And maintains to be to, so today? Yep, yep. In fact, um, if it wasn't for his dodgy knee, um, you know, at his age, he, he still takes it off those 60-year-olds that come <laughs> trying to fly past <laughs> those, him all the those, time. Those young pups. Yeah, those, yeah. Whippers, uh, whippersnippers. Now, yeah. do you think we're going to see him down at walking hockey? I don't think so. No? No, no. I've mentioned it to him before. I don't think he's got a high priority for walking hockey. No. 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 Okay. Well, we've got to work on that one. Yeah. Whereas I think we'll still see Jimmy around. So, yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Uh, any particular fanfare organised by the by the boys for, for the weekend? Uh, it's all secret. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so all. No, it's we're, okay. We're, Nobody listens to this anyway. Yeah. We're, we're actually wearing um, the old Frio shirts. You're on not, Saturday. are you? Yeah. Are yeah, you? Yeah. yeah. I haven't been able to find one, like the one on the wall up yeah, there. Yeah, there's one hanging on the... In there, is there? On the mannequin in the office. Okay, all right. Well, um, I'll tell you who that is if I think of it. Yeah. Well, that would be good to have out there as well. So we've got the full range. Would it fit you? Yeah, yeah. Well, would it fit Keith? No. <laughs> yeah. He's a big unit, though. Yeah, he is. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, so, Graham, thank you yeah. very much. Pre- right. Appreciate that. No Thanks worries. for your thoughts. Yeah. Carry on. Thanks, Graham. Cheers. Oh, that'd be lovely, yeah. <laughs> Who's behind? Who's who's there still? Oh, just make sure that gate's shut on your on your way out, and I'll lock it up. Thank you. Perfect. There you go. Are we going to edit that? No, we're just no, on through. We haven't got come time. Come on, we no, don't no, edit. No, 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 no. We don't edit anything. But where were we at? No, well, that was a nice little interview with uh, Graham Nichols. Thank you, thank Thanks. you, Nick. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank Doing you. some great work from our sixties. It's what a lovely highlight mm. being here on a Thursday evening and yeah. having the opportunity for some of our senior members that have got a lot of time and a lot of history with our club. Yeah. Just popping in for a chat. Yeah. What, what, what a, and that's what the podcast is here for. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. We're just here for a chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good stuff. Um, so I mentioned the junior wind-up before. Mm-hmm. Um, and I did say on our last show that I would do a full um, round-up of um, men's mm. results and stuff. Haven't done that. Um, just been... Kind of busy, but what I can say mm, is, uh, let's let's run through a few teams just off the top of my head. Um, our men's ones play their penultimate round game tomorrow night, Friday night at the stadium versus Vic Park. Um, a win, I reckon. I've done the maths. I think we need three points to be in a final spot. We're in fourth at the moment. Uh, we play Malville in our final game of the season, which would be hard to get points out of, but not impossible. Mm. Um, and lots of teams around us have got to play each other, and and you know there's a bit, you know, a lot of permutations to happen with it still. But we've got ourselves into the driving seat for that fourth spot, so yep. it's, it's it's there for us to lose. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you can get down to the stadium tomorrow night or tonight, probably as you listen to this. And uh, get down and get behind the boys. Yeah. Uh, and then it's next weekend on the Sunday is yeah. our final home game against against it's Malvo. One o'clock. One o'clock for the men, yeah. yeah. Um, twos are out of it. Our men's threes playing in Div 4. They're in th- uh, fourth spot on the ladder at the mm-hmm. moment. Um, and secure for finals. Yo. Uh, four points clear of uh, Lakers in fifth spot there. So that's a real positive. I'm available uh, for finals. Well, the only way is up, isn't it? You can't yep. play down, so, you know. It's, well, I uh, don't think there's another team down. All right, well, I, all right, okay, all right, I'll put it down. I'm available for finals. <sighs> all right, Matt, I don't know if you'll get picked. But, uh, well, I don't know if you'll get bloody picked, No, I won't either. I was just chucking it out there. I just yeah, make myself right. feel okay. better. I got okay. the, well, got you the don't platform. need to try and belittle me with it, though, do you? Why not? I know, I know my levels. <clears throat> I don't. Uh, 
anyway, continue uh, on about the Dib 3. And then I think we've, we've got to have a real big gap until, until that 8 uh, in <laughs> Div 9 for the next uh, final spot. Oh. Uh, they, I think they need a win at the weekend. Uh, they're in third or fourth spot um, yep. in, in uh, Div 9 there. Um, and then a midweek Masters men yeah. uh, are up there. So it's like, there's only six teams in that comp um, oh, this yeah. season. And they they've been, they got forfeited by Harleys for their game last night. So they're in, they're in the box seat there as well, <laughs> I think. It's, um, so not as successful a finals push um, amongst the grades as we've liked. I think last time I said on our, my 50s ones, we were still within a sniff. And then we lost the next game 5-1, <laughs> something like that. Um, Who did you lose to? Uh, who cares? It doesn't yeah. matter. We had, one, one, we, had one, we had a 1-1 one, one draw at the weekend. We won them down to Reds. Um, got the equaliser. Then had a series of five corners at the very end of the game. Um, and on the fifth corner, uh, Scotty McDonald um, turned around and threw it over the Reds' back line. Um, he's one of their players, not mm. ours. The name may be familiar to some. Um, and the umpire said, no, that's it, all done. And we went, no, 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 mate, he's just uh, put it over the back line. No, no, it's, it's out of the field of play. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, so we thought we could have pinched it then. But yeah. nonetheless, not a relegation candidate in, in the uh, well, in the go. grade this season. Well, that's good. We're clear, you know. That's good. We'll let the three crab teams below us fight Have for that honour. Yeah, they can do that. Uh, you got some women's results I there? do, I do. I do. So uh, midweek women masters. Uh, they've only got the one week, obviously, to go as you've talked about. Ray Blunt. Uh, they're eighth. They lost three two to Was, uh, uh, which was a good result considering they lost eight 0 last time to them. Um, goals to Rachel Lamb and or to Shanks and Michelle Owen. I think Shanks you not know, scored two weeks running. Uh, I don't know about last week. I didn't get the uh, results for that one because we weren't doing it. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately, they're not in a chance for finals. Div 2 uh, in the midweek, uh, they lost 2-1 to Wasps. Um, but they're sitting four, so they need to win on Monday, 8 p.m. against Uni. Uh, Soaks here uh, to get in to the finals. Div 3, top of the ladder, uh, they beat... Uh, North Coast Raiders 4-1, uh, did four, a fifth, no chance to make the finals, but had a win against North Coast Raiders 4-0, and um, over 50s, one on a forfeit. Uh, so that's about it, but they're out of contention. Uh, then we wave to our weekend, ladies, uh, so we'll start uh, bottom up. So Div 7 uh, have a relegation battle on their hands after getting their first win of the season two weeks ago um, when they accounted for Curtin. They take on third last Calamunda at the Nest Saturday 1pm. If the girls get a point and Curtin do Curtin things and lose, we will hold the grade. Um, that would be a really good uh, reward for the girls all season. They've, they've been shot growing up for games and everything like that and uh, we've had a few, few new players there. Yeah. So to be able to um, obviously hold the grade will be really good and, you know, obviously a good result for Matt, Ryan and the girls there. Then we go to Div 6. Um, the surprise packet of the women's grades. Um, well, let's the, the start off. They've been well led by Eric and Kobe there. Uh, the side's got a good mixture of youth and experience. Uh, last week they accounted for Melville to secure their final spot and this week they take on Hale it's Sunday, which who are no, third? That's the grade of uh, they've got their first final potentially here no. next week. No, no, that's Div Five. That's oh, Div Five. That's coming up. Yep, yep, that's about to come up. So uh, Div Five, the silent giants of the club. So they were premiers last year in that grade, Matty. Um, they won that from third spot. So they're looking to obviously do a little bit better this year. Uh, rather than just winning a flag. So they're aiming for promotion. They're two points ahead of Whitford's, who we beat two weeks ago. Beat Melville last week. Get a win this week against UWA, 1 p.m. at uh, UWA. Oh, sorry, 5 p.m. Saturday. Uh, we'll have a promotion. 
top spot and a home final. Hopefully, fingers crossed, as the draft fixture is coming out. Oh, you know, well, that, that, it, it does have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that home final is is going to be next here after s- Sunday after the, um, the, the women's ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. men's ones yeah, and yeah. twos. Yeah, yeah, all those rounds. So, um, really good for the girls there. So, if you can get down to UWA five PM Saturday and help the girls get over the line there, that would uh, be huge for the club because obviously Div One or Div Three. Uh, Prem 3. Yeah, Prem 3 went down last week, 3-1 to us, but it doesn't really matter because we'd already uh, concealed, uh, concealed, confirmed our promotion to Div 2 next season. Uh, we did that a couple of weeks ago when we beat Whitford's and Wasps lost and with the points lost and blah, blah, blah. So but Wasps, Wasps have got an um, umpiring point, yeah. um, breach or something yeah. like that, which means they've lost 0.3 or Three. 0.7 or something, yeah. whatever. So where we can't we've we've been promoted to div two which obviously was the ultimate goal for the club yep. um so we're at, we're very close at doing a double promotion we've got four out of maybe five if one of the uh, midweek masters get in out of nine sides in the finals for the women's comp this oh week. no so we're definitely there's two midweek masters teams that are in for finals i think div two div three uh so as per this div two need to win this week on Monday, right? Okay, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you've yeah. got yeah, uh, Div three, Div three, you mean? Yeah, yeah. I think they're they're they're, they're top. Yeah, correct. But yeah, obviously not bad. Um, little little season for the club here. Um, no, it's fantastic. The, well, well, we've been overdue a bit of success on the women's side, so you have. know, and these these things you know can enough. be a bit cyclical. Um, and it's incredible to see that ones, twos, threes for us. Up and about and amongst it. Absolutely it where we need to be. And then you deal with next year's challenges next, next year. year. But yeah. we're, we're set where we should be. So next year, hopefully, we're set well enough that we've got a good enough base that next yeah. year we should be cruising on. So. And why would you not want to come to a destination club like this and play and it further your is. hockey? There are players you know? already reaching out. So, you know, it's other clubs are noticing, other players are noticing. So... Yeah. yeah, we've yeah. got big and good things happening Yeah, here. well, we need to grow and we need to, need to build the cattle on mm. the women's turf side of things. We need more teams in there. Not that necessarily more teams means more success, as we all see from the men's side at the moment. But, you know. Yeah, uh, well, more players, more talent. It is. It is. More milk, the more cream, Botsy. <laughs> That's true. Um, apart from that, I, I think we've... All right. Well, just just, just to honour some audio that's been yes. sent in. Let's um, let's oh, just let's just click straight into this. Oh, you got it. Yep. Good. Hello, bots. I'm listening to your most recent um, Magpod, and I'm tired. I'm tired of you complaining about the lack of interaction. So here you go. Um, this is the match report for the women's Div Six, our threes. We had a Friday night game last night. Um, five nil win over Mods. Um, they were bottom of the ladder, we were fourth, so somewhat expected, but it was still an excellent performance, um, notably from Alice, new to the club this year on the right half. I thought she was going to get that goal, but she didn't quite convert, but still some excellent performances all around, great support from Coach Cobes. Um, it was an awesome game, so I'll update you on how us twos go. You can stay tuned for that. Well, I hope you are staying tuned. Hey, Botsy, this is your, as promised... Div 5 women's game review. Um, it was a warm one. We had a couple of injuries, so we're struggling a bit on the bench. But we managed to pull through for a 5-2 win against Mods. Big shout out to the Rowcrofts, two thirds of them at least. Is and it, energy on young this Jess for bringing the energy. It was much needed. We had our best first quarter we played all season. And huge shout out to the rest of the back line. They managed to carry my hungover corpse around and uh, made it look easy uh, and without too many complaints. That so it. all around, big wins. We got to sing the song, I Didn't Throw Up. And by the looks of it, as I was crawling out to the car park, our ones girls were up three nil against Curtin. So solid day from Frio. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for that, Peggy. Well, Where, isn't man? isn't that Incredible. Thank you, Peggy. Yeah. Thank you for, for doing that. Yeah. I don't right. know. I don't know. Is it? I'll just check if the, I didn't because miss, he didn't miss umpired, any money. Because he umpired my game and he promised me he was going to do a match. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Tuesday the 30th of July this goes back to. I can't remember. 
Magpod time. Great to see the Magpod back <laughs> week or last week. Just an update for us uh, 53s. Um, I think the last round we'd beaten mods, or last round we had on Magpod, we'd beaten mods 1 0. Followed up in a nil or draw with uh, Newman and then uh, Shellac. Um, Bale, three zip. We were sitting third and uh, we were sitting fifth or sixth at the time, so it puts us on the verge of the four for the boys. 3 2 win over Harley, so it certainly uh, knocked them from four spots. And uh, back to earth on the weekend against Wolves, the number two team, 4 1. Two more games to go for us, boys, uh, given we've got a last round bye. Must win those last two games to. Uh, to make the finals. They, did, they didn't um, just you know. that. I had the privilege of uh, actually umpiring Botsy on the oh, weekend. Here we go, here and, we go, here uh, we go. He told me I had to put the uh, match report in for uh, that game. Yeah. Um, you haven't heard this yet. The problem is um, I just need to know whether Botsy knows what a four stick is and how to hit a ball on a four stick because all I ever saw on the, the weekend in his Tom game it. was uh, a back stick, a back stick, a back stick. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Botsy, you can put 20 wide and I think one in and then you miss it a back stick shot to score the goal. Yeah. But, uh, I claimed to, it. Uh, yeah. Well, I think 4-2. But uh, oh, did we win? managed to succumb to a uh, oh. four-law draw against Whitford. Yeah, that was yeah. And what I must say was a, uh, a fairly entertaining game. Great uh, great work by the uh, the lads. Great work by young Augie and Goals um, and, and the boys. But Watson, you need to let the game, mate. You need to learn how to uh, use a four stick. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Look, uh, my last sign-off for today, no call-up by ABC, but uh, I got the call-up from the hospital to get my knee done, which will be Monday the 5th of August, so um, won't see me around for a little bit, but uh, all the best to everybody that are making the finals, all the best to Botsies and his girls and uh, in the um, uh, oh. Prem 3s, and uh, let's hope they can bring home a Premiership, I'm sure they can, and uh, definitely promotion into, into twos. Sign-off for now. Cheers. Thanks very much to our correspondent, Thanks. Manny Minasali there. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll take that feedback in, especially from the great man of Manny. Yeah. Um, I didn't have 20 wide, 30. Is it? And the goal was uh. back of the stick, but I ran straight off after. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. It was bad. Well. But, surely. I, I am, I'm so excited, Botsy, about... <laughs> The hockey coming up this weekend, <laughs> that uh, and the quiz nights, Ooh, the double yeah. quiz nights, and everything else. I, I probably just need to think about going home to bed. Uh, reckon? Yeah, yeah. So, All right. um, good luck to the teams on the weekend. Yes, get it done. Go to Magpies. Come on, you Magpies. And the Dip Five Girls. Come on. Dude.